Blessed Oliver was canonized on October 12, 1975 in a solemn ceremony in St. Peter's Square, Rome by His Holiness, Pope Paul VI. The Irish Church was well represented, including His Eminence, Cardinal Conway, the Archbishop of Armagh and successor of Oliver. The Irish state was also represented, led by Antishock, Mr. Liam Cosgrave. Also there were Monsignor John Hanley, who appears in this production, and who, as postulator for the cause, was responsible for the gathering of evidence for the proof of the miraculous cure accredited to Oliver. Beatum Oliverium Planket Martyrem. Beatum Oliverium Planket Sanctum et et Definimus. Medical missionaries of Mary's sisters and Dominican nuns, who were so much part of the history of Oliver, as well as the lady who was cured through his intercession, Giovanna Martiriano. These, along with thousands of others, gathered to hear Pope Paul pronounce Oliver as a saint. Simultaneously in Ireland, Mass was being offered in many churches in thanksgiving for this great honour for the Irish Church. Oliver's canonization was the only occasion in modern history when an Irish person was proclaimed a saint. The Mass in Drogheda was the central celebration of the Archdiocese of Armagh. The bishops of Ireland and the people who had venerated the relic of his head in St. Peter's Church sang God's praises. Mass was also offered here in Ballybarrack, County Louth, a place dear to Oliver, because here in Ballybarrack he celebrated Mass many times, and also the other sacraments, particularly ordination of priests. Pope Paul, in this ancient ceremony, extolled Oliver's dedication to his pastoral duties in difficult times. He recognized Oliver's devotion to prayer and his close union with God, which enabled him to sacrifice his life in imitation of the Master, Jesus Christ. He highlighted the role of Oliver as bishop, so important in the Catholic Church for leadership, unity, and to guard the faith, all of which Oliver did admirably. Finally, he highlighted the need for peace and reconciliation at a time when Ireland was in great trouble. And progress in this has been advanced greatly through Oliver's intercession. Over a hundred Irish priests assisted with the distribution of Holy Communion at the canonization ceremony. And at the end of the Mass, everyone sang together the words of Holy God, we praise thy name. A wonderful hymn for a wonderful occasion. Afterwards, the guests were invited back to the Irish College for a luncheon and an open day. And the day ended with the singing of traditional Irish songs in the Gaelic mixed with the Italian that Oliver loved so well. And those who were there thanked Rome for such a memorable day.